so 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 after all of that happened, after all of that happened, you know, we we never spoke to each other again the whole bit. And then years later, I just felt really bad because I saw him talking about it and I was like, and then Randy Ayers and others got on me because they were like, let it go, let it go, let it go. Then I saw his son mm -hmm. and his son was in the league and he was such a nice kid and everything. I didn't want his son looking at me talking on TV every day, thinking that one day if I spoke about him, it was going to be because of his mm -hmm. father. And then I realized, I, you know how you just look at somebody and it's like an epiphany hits you? This is all my fault. That brother was a basketball player. Whatever he felt about Randy Ayers, he felt about Randy Ayers. Whatever he felt about his teammates, he felt about his teammates. He has that right. He was in that locker room. He was a star player formerly at Purdue and then in the NBA. And I said, my turn. You know, he was that dude. And the fact of the matter is Glenn Big Dog Robinson could ball. Mm -hmm. And the people that you spoke to, most of them felt he was a really cool brother. And they didn't feel the way that I felt about him at the time. So I was like, this son, there must have been something good about him. The fact of the matter is, and I don't want his son feeling this way. So I walked up to his son when I saw his son. And I was like, I was totally wrong. 